guys welcome to my youtube channel isia girl seraphic and today we are going to look into five questions you should ask before getting married but before i get into this topic i want to thank everyone that has supported me everyone that have liked my video shared my video i'm grateful for your comments your like i'm grateful for everyone that have supported me so far since i started this my youtube channel i want to thank you all i am grateful for your love may god almighty bless you all amen so today um i i was having a conversation with my friend and we were talking we were having girl stuff and it was really a serious topic about relationship marriages you know in life who you marry determines how your future will be people don't really think about it but it's true if you marry the wrong person everything about you will become wrong in your future so in this conversation i was inspired to make this video to talk to you my ladies on five questions you should ask uh, yourself before thinking of getting married because it's very important to ask yourself these questions because if you are not able to ask yourself these questions then it's a problem thinking about getting married so I decided to share this video with you guys share this knowledge with you guys question you should ask before thinking of getting married and also to um also encourage you if you don't know this question for you to start thinking about it because it's really a very good question to ask yourself yeah so and also before i get into this topic i also want to tell that um i i may not be doing um vlogs like i promised at the first video i made i may not be doing vlogs because the plans I have for traveling is cancelled. So I may not be doing much vlogs for, for at the moment, but it may come within the year, but the travel vlogs that I had in mind was cancelled. So it will be more of sit down videos like you are seeing right now. So, but I will bring topics that are interesting so that you will enjoy also the sit down videos, okay? yeah so back to the topic today five questions you should ask yourself before thinking of getting married so let's get into the topic number one you should ask yourself why you sh why you want to get married if you cannot answer this question why like of course if you are from africa where i come from especially nigeria once you are getting to 20 Everybody is asking you all these aunties. They are asking you when are you getting married? When are you getting married? 25 already is like what are you waiting for? So but Don't let anybody pressurize you into getting married if you cannot ask yourself and answer yourself Why you should get married a lot of people think of getting married because they need financial support if that's the only reason you are thinking of getting married then you 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 are not starting your married life in the right foundation because even if you marry someone that gives you money that's not enough to sustain a marriage you should have a tangible answer to yourself why you you are thinking or you want to get married if you cannot answer to yourself a tangible question like i want to get married because i enjoy uh, serving someone else or I want to get married because I enjoy taking care of someone else. If you getting married is a, you want to get married because of super, uh, so, um, how do I say it now? Because of material things, then I think you are not really prepared. So if you ask yourself, why am I even thinking of getting married? If you can answer it without being superficial, then you are ready to be married. The second point is, what kind of marriage do I want? You have to ask yourself what kind of marriage you want. Uh, do you want a kingdom marriage or do you want a worldly marriage? You should ask yourself that. Because if you want a kingdom marriage, you cannot be looking 
for such men or such women in the, in the worldly places. If you want a kingdom man, you should look for a kingdom man in where kingdom people go to. So, yeah, it's really a question. You see a lot of people, um, they will say to themselves, I want to marry uh, someone that is someone that um, enjoy going to club, don't want to know anything about God. How, if you marry, if you say that, okay, this is the kind of person you want, and you now want them to automatically become a kingdom person, then you are really deceiving yourself because it doesn't work that way. So I think if you want to have a kingdom experience, then you have to start uh, cultivating on places where you could meet kingdom people, in my own opinion, yes. So if you also uh, uh, think about also reading Ephesians 5 verse 33, it also shows that who you choose to marry will shape how your life will turn out. So you cannot just marry anyone or i see people say i want to marry someone that is rich being rich is good but if the person is rich but does not know god and has no interest to know god then it's a problem it's a problem so it's you it's left for you to decide so the third point is who am i going to marry who is that person you are going to marry is the person a child of god is the person not a child of god do you want to marry a child of god do you want to marry a worldly man so is these are the question you should ask yourself and answer it yourself so the fourth one is how do i uh, achieve this godly man or woman that i want to marry you see people studying like engineering five years six years seven years and they never read any book about marriage and they want their marriage to be successful like they are, their career is successful you did not spend any time learning up anything about marriage. So how do you expect your marriage to be successful? You spend your time focusing on your career. Fo spend your years focusing on learning how to uh, do your career. Like people that are studying to be nurse, they spend three years studying to be nurse. You, you want to marry. You have not read any marriage book. How do you want to sustain that your marriage? You have to seek for knowledge if you want your marriage to work. You have to read books, spirit-filled books that will make you have a uh, knowledge about marriage because you cannot do things without having knowledge of it. You, you see people succeeding in things or you see someone now driving, you feel that that person is so intelligent. No, they have knowledge. That's why they learn how to drive. You see people teaching or people doing sophisticated things is because they spend time to learn how to do that thing that's why they look sophisticated doing it because they have learned it they have have knowledge on it so you cannot want to have a successful marriage without having knowledge about marriage without reading books that will give you insight into marriage you must do that if not so it wouldn't work you also have to mature into marriage Things that I see, things that I see now, I don't say anything. Years back, I say everything I see, but maturity has taught me now not to say everything I see. So you have to mature into marriage. Marriage is not for children or boys and girls. Marriage is for matured men and women. So you have to grow in maturity. Growing, growing in maturity is being able to comport yourself, being able to like. When someone says, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian, I don't believe you until I see you, I see you angry. For you to show me that you are really a Christian is when I see you angry. Like the way you react when you are angry shows what kind of a Christian you are. If you are someone that cannot comport yourself, even in the public, you behave like a mad person, you have a long way to go. So that is also how it is in marriage. You have to grow in maturity for you to be able to manage your home. Your partner may make you angry in, in public, in-house you have to grow in maturity to know how to manage your anger manage uh, your family or situation even your children your children might bring you to anger you have to grow in maturity to be able to handle them so and you cannot do all those things if you have not achieved the knowledge to manage your home as a godly man or a godly woman so the next one is building your character you have to build your character 
you you will see people men and women that are handsome beautiful but their character is so ugly that with time you will not see those physical attributes of them those ugliness of their character will cover them so i encourage you my beautiful ladies to work on yourself men that watch my channel work on yourself build your character with good manners it's very important to be able to have a happy home okay yeah so the final point that i have here is seek counsel i cannot emphasize this enough seek counsel in the council in the multitude of counsel there is always ways so if you seek counsel counsel will help you to filter things that are not appropriate well your pastor is not in love or your elder is not in love you are the one that is in love if you seek counsel they are with, they will see things that you cannot see because they are not in love so seek counsel surround yourself also with good friends surround yourself with godly friends surround yourself with the right people because the right people will always tell you when the things when things are wrong so if you surround yourself with godly people they will always tell you this guy is not good for your spiritual growth you have to think about this relationship and all that so i say all this to say this it's very important people we surround ourselves with because people you surround your you are the if you surround yourself with nonsense people you are the number six nonsense person that you know if you surround yourself with good people you are the number six good people that you know if you are, have five friends if you surround yourself with those five friends that are stupid or five friends that are successful if they are successful you are the number six successful person if they are stupid you are the number six stupid person so think about it and surround yourself with the right people that will always guide you tell you what you are doing whether it's wrong or right how direct which direction you are going whether it's wrong or right always seek counsel because no one knows everything if you think you know everything then you are a fool only a fool knows everything so always seek counsel to get more knowledge and insight in what you already know seek counsel it's very important anyways this is the end of my topic today thank you guys for watching please share this video especially if you want to get married now ask yourself these questions why you want to get married who you want to get married to and where you have to go to meet those people that you want to get married to is very important. Seek counsel. Seeking counsel is very important. So this is all I have to share for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it to your friends. Subscribe. Press the subscribe, uh, subscribe uh, button. Sh uh, uh, comment on the comment section your opinion about this topic. And also ways also that people that want to get married what what they have to do or how they have to go about it so that they will be able to succeed in their marriage so this is all i have for you today thank you so much i love you all until we see again on my next topic bye bye